So I looked at it a couple perspectives. Right. And I think, uh, in my opinion, I think Rachel Nichols was warranted for what, for how she felt and everything. Yes. Because at the end of the day, man, this is why I look at it like this. That you, she, she once she lost a, she lost a job that she wanted. How many of us would be would be pissed off if we lost a job? So that's right. number one. She lost her job too. Right. And, mm -hmm. and I was talking to my god brother about it, man. And to me personally, I think she sees the end of the light for her career with ESPN. I think that's the beginning. I think this is the beginning and the end for her. And she was just releasing that frustration because she's like, it's kind of like when when you're an older bas when you're an older basketball player, you've been around for a while. You know, you're still a good quality starter but they drafted a young guy that may not be better than you right now. Yeah, yeah. But that he comes. It, it's only a matter of time that they can yeah, end. So comes. the quicker they throw you in there, they can, they can, not only they're going to be better, but they're going to surpass you here pretty soon. But right now you're still the better player. It's just that, hey man, you're, you know, you only got, we don't know how long you're going to be around. Like, mm. so and they, they bench you for that person. And it's like, mm. well, you know what? This is the end. Because when that starts happening, like it's on map time, man. Like you, you're gonna go to another team, and you're, gonna, you're you might be able to start for a bad team, or more than likely, you're not gonna be starting no more. So, I think in that situation, that's what happened with her rant, her venting, and stuff like that. So, I agree. Uh, I think the only thing she did wrong mm -hmm. is when she spoke about race. Right. If she if she would have left the oh you're doing it because I want I don't want to misquote her because you have a crappy history with diversity. So if you're going to give it to her for that, do it, but just don't do it on my time. Got how she ended it. Yeah, I heard That's it. where she messed up. So, because I'm listening to the rant, and then when she got to that part, I was like, uh. And I didn't really take too much offense to it, because I don't – I didn't, it, didn't, it didn't sound malicious. Right. But you, you, you can't – you can't say that, you know, like you can't, there's certain things you can't bring up race. You can't bring up the fact me as a male can't bring up a female. You can't bring up uh, sexual orientation. Like you can't use that as your reasoning for not getting the job when it's recorded. Given she didn't know she was being recorded. Right. But when it's recorded, because now, now it's the HR issue. So if she would have left that part out, I honestly think it would have just been beef between her and Maria, but it wouldn't have been nothing that a disciplinary action should have taken place. But as soon as I heard that part, I was like, oh, yeah, they, they, they got to do something. I was so, like, because public opinion. So uh, I'm actually, I'm actually going to push back. So here's my thing. I think she was okay to say that. I think, uh, I think she was one. I think she was okay to say it. Cause here's the thing. So I'm looking at it like this, and I was telling my god brother, cause we we were looking at two different uh two different perspectives. I told him this. It's kind of like this. Look here, at ESPN. We know your history of diversity. We know you've been horrible with hiring black people, uh, hiring women, doing this stuff. You know, for black for black people and women of uh, women and black people in general, well, people of color in general. Now you have a, ch now with all this pressure coming from with the uh, whole, you know, with cap, you know, the cap, George Floyd, all those things now it's been brewing. Now you feel impelled now and be like, Hey, look what we're doing where you have this 20 plus years of BS where you, you've, you've ignored it. Now you got a little pressure. Now you want to act right. So I think she was talking in that aspect where, and me personally, I think she was right. And like, look here, what you're doing is phony anyways. And we all know ESPN is phony. We like, we know ESPN is phony. They don't care about uh, black folks. They don't care about women. Dude, we know ESPN is phony. Like, and I say this, the whole, like when they pull that BS with Stephen A. Smith, what he said about the whole Ray Rice situation, you know, when he said, which is true. A lot of people go through their heads like, what he said was 100% right. A lot of people did think that. Not saying like she right. was, like she did something to to deserve that. But at the end of the day, like, okay, he beat her that bad. What was done for him to get to that point? And then you still question that. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like with Chris Brown's Rihanna situation. You still question like, okay, somebody, because that doesn't happen like that. You know, guys don't beat women like that to that right. often. 
So, but you know, you know what ESPN did? They made Stephen A. They suspended Stephen A. Smith. They let Michelle Beadle say her BS. They suspended him. I don't and like Michelle Beadle. No. Yeah, I can't stand her. Then they made um, then Stephen A. Smith came back apologizing and everything with that BS. And then remember the whole thing with uh, uh, with Molly. She said something about uh, uh, Levar Ball when he said about switching gears, which we all know that was like, bro, he was not trying anything on that woman. And, right. You know what I'm saying? But like ESPN's like ESPN has history, especially with boxing and stuff like that, bro. Mm -hmm. ESPN has a history of that. So I think in that aspect, that's what I'm looking at from that aspect with uh, Rachel Nichols because right. she's been there since '04, so she's right. seen it. She's seen it. She's seen it all. So right. I think I think she was right when she's like, "Hey, look, don't like don't try to make up for the BS you've done for twenty whatever, thirty whatever years." And you're now you're doing it at the expense of me, but you're but I know that you're being fake about it and everything. You know, people. So we, we go, agree, but like I said, it. I didn't take offense to it. Right. It's just you, you can't say it. <laughs> it's just well, simple. Yeah. So I, I agree. I didn't take offense to that. As yeah. I've read it, I mean, as I, I heard it, I listened to it so I can listen to how, how she said it. You know, I don't want to just read it. So when I heard it, I was just like, yeah, I don't see nothing wrong there. But in my head, you got to think HR. You know, and maybe that's the corporate in me, but HR, like, I, I I put on my HR hat, and I was like, you still just can't say that. Yeah, yep. You know, I like, agree. and that that was the issue. So, like, for instance, say, you know, you at your job, say you get a uh, a promotion, and, you know, you're one, I don't know, I'm, you're, I'm pretty sure you're one of the only black people there, and somebody comes out and says, oh, they just did that because they, they don't, they have a bad history of hiring black guys, so that that's why he got the position. It's going to, in a way, it belittles how hard you work for it. Right. And it could it be true? It could be true. Mm -hmm. But it's belittling how hard you work for it. You're not going to be okay with that. And then if nothing happened to that person, now you're going to kind of look at your company like, well, dang, y'all let this dude say this, and y'all ain't do nothing about it? You know, y'all right. y'all didn't say a thing. So I, they put, she put ESPN between a rock and a hard place with that comment. Because mm -hmm. I agree. I don't think it was wrong. You know, I don't think it was malicious. I don't think it was racist. You know, I don't think anything like that. Right. I just think that you, it's just one of them things you can't say. You, you could feel it. You could feel that way. You just can't say.